I'm going to start with a crime alert. This one is in Bruton or in Baldwin County. A criminal investigation underway after racist graffiti was spotted spray painted on a sign off Gardner Road near Lillian this morning. So disturbing. Debbie Williams has the story on the Baldwin County beat. These black patches on Gardner Road, well, they cover symbols and words of hate. A county crew covered them up earlier this morning, but not before the message was received. We can only show you blurred images of what was spray painted on the two lane road in rural Baldwin County. The N word, swastikas, and KKK, all in the 90 degree turn of County Road 91 and Gardner Road. And as I pulled up, I saw it and I was like, whoa. And then I looked on the ground and I'm just catching it as I go. Rachel Scott drove through the area this morning. It's heart wrenching because it's like, a, I don't know who, you know, as a black, you don't know who to trust as a white. A school bus driver was the first to report it. County crews arrived shortly afterwards to cover it up. This is an insult to the community uh, to put that type of language uh, in the roadway and on these signs, and we won't tolerate that. Sheriff Hosback says this is the second such incident in as many weeks and is appealing to the public for help finding those responsible. We will aggressively pursue anybody that has done this. The words and symbols spray painted on asphalt are as harmful as weapons, and for Scott, it's proof of something she has believed all along. Because a lot of people don't realize this racism still going on, it's just not slowing down. You see that Black Lives Matter, that K the KK, you see all of this, it's not slowing down. Now those images that we used in our story were taken by Marcus Washington, who was on his way to school with his two nephews, who then had to have a conversation about who would do this and why. It's a conversation no one would want to have, and Brianna Hollis will talk to him and have his story tonight on WKRG News 5 at 9 and 10. On the Baldwin County Beat, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.